हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन से इज अ बॉल ऑफ 0.1 पॉइंट वन के जी मेक्स एन इलास्टिक हेड ऑन कोलिजन विद अ बॉल ऑफ अनोन मास दैट इज इनिशियली एट रेस्ट इफ द जीरो पॉइंट वन के जी बॉल रिबाउंड विद वन थर्ड ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिनल स्पीड वट इज द मास ऑफ अदर बॉल सो वट डू वी हैव टू फाइंड इन द क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन विद टू बॉल्स लेट अस टेक दिस इज बॉल वन ऑफ मास जीरो पॉइंट वन के जीज एंड मूविंग विद वेलोसिटी यू लेट सपोज एंड देर इज अ सेकेंड बॉल लेट सपोज बॉल टू हूज मास इज अनोन लेट सपोज एम एंड हैज नो वेलोसिटी ओके सो बॉल वन कोलाइड्स विद बॉल टू एंड रीबाउंड सो बॉल टू नाउ हैज सम वेलोसिटी इन दिस डायरेक्शन लेट सपोज वी इट्स मास इज एम एंड ball 1 has a rebound velocity of u by 3 in this direction and let's take this direction as positive so u by 3 gets a negative sign already and its mass is 0.1 and its ball 1 now this is the case so we have to find the value of m so let us first revise the key concepts behind this question so the first key concept behind this question is as there is no net external force we can apply the concept of conservation of linear momentum okay why because there is no net external force so what does conservation of linear momentum say it says that net momentum of the system initially which is denoted by pi is equal to net momentum of the system finally denoted by pf and the second key concept behind this equation behind this question is as we are given with elastic head on collision in elastic collision what do we have we have conservation of kinetic energy kinetic energy okay so what does kinetic energy in conservation of kinetic energy say that the net kinetic energy of the system initially denoted by ki will be equal to net kinetic energy of the system finally okay so now taking these two concepts into consideration let us jump right into our solution so for solution part what do we have so let us apply conservation of linear momentum so we have pi will be equal to pf so pi will be given by m1 v m1 u1 sorry let us directly put the values so m1 is equal to 0.1 and its velocity is u plus m2 is unknown m and its velocity is 0 will be equal to 0.1 mass has a velocity of minus u by 3 in the second case final case plus m has a velocity of velocity v so let us solve it further we have 0.1 u plus 0.1 u by 3 will be equal to mv so from here we have mv is equal to 0.4 by 3 u okay let's mark it as equation 1 now for second equation let us uh, let us conserve uh, the kinetic energy apply second concept so for conservation of kinetic energy ki will be equal to kf so half of um, first mass is 0.1 and its velocity is u square so its kinetic energy of first particle initially and this is its mass is unknown and its velocity is zero so this is kinetic energy of second ball initially it will be equal to half of 0.1 into minus u by 3 whole square which is the kinetic energy of the first ball in the final case plus half of 0. Point, sorry 0.1 not so in this case it is m m into v square because this is the kinetic energy of second particle in the final case 
so solving this we get cancelling two both side this is already zero now what do we have we have 0 0.1 u square minus 0 0.1 by 9 u square will be equal to mv square now what do we have we have 0 0.1 u square into 1 minus 1 by 9 is equal to mv square so it will be equal to 0 0.8 u square over 9 is equal to mv square let's mark it as the oh no we have let's mark it as equation number 2 so now what do we have now dividing equation 1 square from 2 so equation 1 square from 2 what do we have we have m square v square will be equal to 0 0.16 upon 9 u square and the second equation is what it is mv square is equal to 0 0.8 upon 9 u square now v square cancels each other out m cancels each other out u cancels each other out 9 cancels each other out so what do we have we have m is equal to 0 0.16 over 0 0.8 which is equal to 0 0.2 kgs hence the value of m which is being asked in the question is 0 0.2 kg let's highlight it here this is our final answer i hope you understood it well Thank you.